Welcome to the joy of coding. Hello, and welcome to episode 167 of the joy of coding. My name is Mike Conley. Gonna oh, that's a splash. Um, whoa, did not expect. I was hoping to use the pop can for flair and not for a mess. Hold on a sec. Luckily, it's diet pop and uh, there's no sugar or stickiness. However, I'm sure my monitor stand does not like the fact that there is now Diet Coke on it. Or Coke Zero, I should say. Uh, hello. Sorry about that. Welcome to episode 167 of The Joy of Coding. Going to be hacking on some Firefoxy stuff today, some, uh, some media decoding stuff similar to last week. Uh, let's get into things. Let's not dilly-dally. Well, first of all, I have to, I have to mention something. Before, I, well, no, you know what? I'll get to it. I'll get to it down here. Um, okay, quick reminder: no plan survives breakfast, especially today, especially these days, because some of my streams, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna make reference to it later, but uh, some of my streams have sort of been ending poorly. Uh, like I kernel panic, and then the stream ends, and it's it's a bad time. So uh, that can happen. That might happen this time too. Who knows? That's okay. It's all right. Everyone's going to be all right. We're going to figure it out. But just so you know, nothing that I'm doing is really scripted. There's not a whole lot of organization behind it. I'm just hacking on Firefox things and you're, I'm taking you along for the ride. Think of it like an episode of Cops where you're, you know, it's a ride along and, and, but instead of Cops, it's Bugs. I think I made that joke before. Um, so that's one thing. The second thing is that the agenda that we're looking at with all these handy dandy links is something that you have access to. If you're watching this on Air Mozilla, check out the handout section over here. If you're watching this on YouTube, check out the video description down below. And if you're watching this on Twitch, well, uh, I failed to join the Twitch chat. So just give me a quick second to join and then I will drop the link in the Twitch chat. One sec. Here it is, agenda. Boom. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been sending uh, ratings, by the way. I, I sort of had a call to action for people to rate the episodes and let me know what you thought. I got some in, and, and I really appreciate that. It helps me figure out what to do um, and helps me figure out how to mold the stream to what you need it to be. I also want to point out that there is an episode guide to The Joy of Coding. This is a user, uh, viewer-driven um, resource for you to uh, know about the various episodes, handy links for each episode, maybe the uh, the agenda links and the video links, but as well as topics that I covered. And uh, as per usual, I'm one episode behind, but also as per usual, there is a, uh, uh, there should be a pull request from Smurf D, so reliable. Uh, Smurf D, one of my uh, viewers here, uh, great uh, contributor to the episode guide, he contributes pretty much every week. Uh, I think he's like the primary contributor to the episode guide. So here he is adding episode six. He also updated episode five. Um, he adds the notes, which I think I had failed to do. So that's good. And then, uh, yeah. Not one, but two kernel panics. Rut row. That's right. That's what happened that episode. It was a bad time. So uh, I'm going to now merge this pull request and say thank you. Confirm. Thanks. Thanks, Smurf D. So uh, yeah, kernel panics. What's that all about? So I'm running uh, OBS, which is the streaming software that I use, on the same machine that I'm working on. And historically, that's been OK. But for some reason, over the past couple of weeks, I've been having a lot of difficulty. Usually, it's when I'm running a build or something in the background. All of a sudden, my computer gets really slow, and then I kernel panic. And I thought maybe I was overheating it. But I took some measurements last week of the processor right before it kernel panicked, or in the midst of it being really slow and busy. And it didn't seem like it was overheating. So I don't know what exactly is going wrong, but my solution, my proposed solution, what I said I was going to do was uh, get a second computer in this room to actually run OBS that I can stream to. It'll do frame capture off my device here, but otherwise this device, um, like the one that you see me working on, won't be running OBS. It'll just be like I am at my desk. 
Uh, we tried an experiment like that uh, a couple of weeks ago with a uh, separate machine that was unfortunately too weak to encode um, on time. So there was some frame dropping and the, the video was a little choppy. Unfortunately, uh, I did get the machine, so I, I was able to fulfill that part of the promise. Unfortunately, and I only found this out like half an hour ago when I was finishing setting it up, the capture card I used, this like L, it's not really a capture card, it's a capture device. It's this thing called the Elgato HD60. This little device here with HD in here, HDMI in and HDMI out so you can tunnel to my monitor. And then there's an, a USB out that connects to the computer that you want to stream from, that you want to capture the, the frames to. And unfortunately, uh, it runs on Mac OS, but OBS does not capture correctly. Like, OBS doesn't know how to capture on Mac OS uh, with this device, which is really frustrating because I was so close. I was right there. Um, so that was a real disappointment. I'm going to be looking at some solutions for next week. So we're almost there with a second machine. So hopefully I don't kernel panic this time. Um, I'm only using 14.6% of the CPU right now. So let's hope OBS keeps it up, keeps up the good work of, of not eating all my CPU. So uh, just a quick check, is everything working? You can hear me and I'm recording and I've got sounds, great. So what do I want, blah, 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 what do I want to do today? Uh, it's a continuation of what we were working on last week, but I've actually progressed quite a bit since then. Um, the, the code we, uh, I was working on, let me, let me see where I got to. Where did I get to last week? I don't remember where I got to last week, but I'll, tell, I'll show you where I'm at now and you can, I can demonstrate it. Um, so I'll run what I've got. Okay. So let's go to um, this website here that hosts an HTML5 video. Oh, I can feel my machine starting to, starting to, oh no, that's, that's not the right site. HTML5 video Mozilla. That's where I want to go. This hopefully will not be a really short, short stream. Hopefully uh, my machine does not completely tank on us. Okay, so I've got this flower. And if I right click on it, uh, I'm gonna get the picture in picture window. And my head's gonna be in the way, unfortunately. But here it is. And on Mac OS, it doesn't stay on top, but that's okay, on Windows it does. I can hit play and then the frames decode and they're sent to both places at the same time. That's what we wanted. Um, now here's the thing that I'm hoping to work on today. We have this optimization where um, you may or may not know this, but you can actually run video in a background tab. People do this all the time. They'll be watching video, maybe playing some music from YouTube or something, and then they'll switch tabs away from that the YouTube video and the music will keep playing but the video, what we do as an optimization is we, we realize you're not looking at that video and we shut down the decoder. So the video decoder part that's figuring out the frames, we, we shut that part down because it's not being used anymore. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. Uh, I can demonstrate it by looping this video so that it's still playing here and we've got it looping. And then I'm going to switch this tab into the background by opening up a new tab. And notice that it continues playing, it continues playing, but then after a couple of seconds, it should stop, like that. And then it goes white. So the video decoder got shut down. On purpose, we're doing that on purpose because the, back, the video, the source video is in the background. And what I wanna do is I wanna make it so that if we're cloning to, uh, uh, picture in picture window that we don't 
um, that we that we don't shut down the decoder like that. So I have written a test that tests this. I uh, will show you how it works. I've actually written a bunch of tests. I'm really quite pleased. Uh, I've got all these tests now that test um, the cloning of frames. And unfortunately, a bunch of them are going to be skipped um, because I had set them to skip. But I'm going to run them all now instead of skipping them. So I'm going to run this one and this one and this one. So, I'm going to run our tests. See, like my machine is feeling slow, but my CPU temperature is like my fans are, are cranked, but my CPU temperature is in like in the green. Well, kind of in the yellow, but it's not bad. Okay, so I run the test. The test uh, tests a number of different things. And then, I don't know what it's doing right now. Well, part of it failed, actually. Uh, I wonder if I've got a little bit of a race condition here. Um, one of my tests failed, so let's take a look. Um, and then it's just sitting here and doing something. Left frame was. Right frame was, these are the test videos that I'm using. Right frame was something a lot smaller. So I can probably shut down this test now. Just a blank frame. It's the right size, but it's just black. So I have a feeling I've got a little bit of a race somewhere. Um, that was in this test here. So let me, let me talk a little bit about the tests I've got right now. Uh, there's a bunch of like helper functions that I've set up and those helper functions are to help me like take snapshots of two videos, the, the original and the clone, snapshot them and then compare them, compare their image data. So I've got that and then I've got uh, some code here to deal with. I, I just ran into this yesterday and last night. It was really annoying. Um, someone's saying something. Smurf D says, hey, did you see that the work is being mentioned on G-Hacks? I did not see that. I don't really go to G-Hacks. G-Hacks is where angry people are. Angry, angry people. Um, I, I don't go to where they're super angry people. Using draw image only works for the um, for the original video, and it doesn't include transforms. 
for like if the video is told itself to uh, be displayed in a different um, set of dimensions. Uh, draw an image will render it in the original dimensions. Well, sorry about that. Once again, kernel panicked. Um, let me just reset my camera here. Hello. Hello. Hi, Smart B. Um, so I reinstalled OBS. And if the kernel panicked again, I'm just going to call it a day. This is ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. If anyone knows, this only started showing up like a couple of weeks ago. All right. 